Hi everyone, Mike here for Mikey Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Shaosheng, I think that's how you say it, WM10. This is an ultra high frequency wireless microphone system which retails in at around £230. So the price point isn't actually too expensive for what it is. If you go too cheap of a quality when it comes to these microphone systems, you really are skimping out on quality overall. You probably find that you get a lot of interference, crackling sounds, and just overall really poor quality. And I've had a couple of uh, cheaper brands. It was just really, really bad, and you end up throwing them away and wasting money. Alternatively, there are more premium brands such as Sennheiser, but typically they're about double the cost of this if not more. Of course, you're going to get that more professional quality, but at the same time for the price, uh, I don't think a lot of people are gonna be complaining about the, the overall quality that you get from this. And um, with the 230 pounds, you are actually getting a dual microphone setup. So you get one receiver and two transmitters, obviously with the lapel microphones. Uh, you can actually get a singular pack, which comes with one receiver one tr uh, and one transmitter. That's around £140 if you have no intention to, um, you know, using more than one person for the microphone. Um, if you are planning on doing either interviews or involving more than one person, then this is the uh, pack that you want to go for. So I'm not going to do an overly techy um, review because when it comes to you know, uh, audio, I'm not a, a professional, but I really do want to show you the audio quality that you get from it. But just for those who want to know, I'm just going to go through some of the main features. So uh, as it says here, professional recording quality with wide frequency response. It has professional low cut and mixing function. It has a separate control for monitoring and recording output volume with memory function. It has an integrated high performance audio compressor expander, which can withstand high sound pressure level with dynamic feature and keep fidelity. It has up to 100 wireless frequencies and uh, 50 signal channels which can work at the same time. And uh, finally, the oval construction is aluminium or aluminum, depending on where you are in this world. Um, so that housing is not only for extra durability, but good shielding performance. So for the technical parameters, the wireless frequency ranges between 538 to 594 megahertz. Uh, you've got the modulation mode, that's FM. Audio frequency response is between 30 hertz and 18 kilohertz. The microphone type is omnidirectional and you aren't limited to this uh, lap power microphone that's, that's included. If you do end up getting a better quality one uh, or one that you feel is better quality, you can obviously uh, use it with this. The number of channels is 100, uh, frequency controller, PLL synthesizer. The wireless transmitting power is uh, just under 10 milliwatts. SNR 85 decibels. The power supply is two AA batteries. That's for each unit and uh, the use time of the battery is just under 10 hours, so up to 10 hours. The working distance is 100 meters and that was tested outdoors in an open field. So depending on uh, you know what obstacles in the way that might um, differentiate um, in, the, um, in the amount of range that you have. So inside the box you will get obviously the receiver so on the rear you have a cold shoe attachment so this means that you can mount it on directly on top of a camera but you're not limited to that as it has a little tripod thread as you can see there so on top these two are to screw on the antennas and you have a audio output as well as the headphone port with the battery you just have to pinch this side compartment here and uh, yeah so two AA batteries for each one. So if you're using all the units, that's gonna be six AA batteries in total. Batteries are not included. And then we have the two transmitters, which have a little clip here, so you can clip that onto you know, your trousers or onto a belt. And you have a variety of uh, accessories. Now you get double of everything. Um, I've misplaced one of these, unfortunately, so I do apologize, but you've got a little uh, windshield there, as well as two lip power microphones. And uh, these have a little uh, screen feature as well, just to keep it nice and secure. You have the audio cable to connect the receiver to your camera and to antennas. So these simply screw on like that. And then when it comes to the lapel microphone, you just plug it in and screw. 
and then that way it's not going to accidentally um, clip out if you do catch it on anything. So I'm going to need this cable to uh, connect it all to my camera. So before I set this all up, um, just hold the on button until it comes on. There we are. So you do want to make sure that they're matching uh, the settings. So um, this one is on channel five. Uh, to match this one here. So to uh, change the, the channel settings, you just literally press um, uh, set. Just go through the settings there. So you've got the output level. There we are, so we can change the channel if need be. So all the way up to 50 channels, but I'm gonna stick onto channel five. And then once again on here, if you want to change the, uh, the channel, just press set and then just up and down. It really is uh, that simple. And then we need a camera. So what I'm gonna do here, just gonna flip these up, slide it onto the camera and then just tighten it up so that it doesn't fall off. Once again, you aren't limited to mounting it on top. That is just a personal preference. Of course, you do need a, uh, a camera that has a microphone port. If not, then obviously you're not going to uh, be able to use this with it. Um, so with this one here, you want that in uh, out, because that would have been a lot easier if I actually put that on before I mounted onto the camera. Um, and then, um, yeah, so once that's done, you just need to connect the other end into the microphone port. So on the A6600, just like that. Depending on your setup, you may find that the wire will get in the way. So you just need to uh, just put it in a way that it doesn't get in the way of anything. All right, so at the moment I'm using the internal microphone of the Sony A6600. And whilst I get this isn't the, the fairest uh, comparison because depending on what make and model of camera you have, the internal microphone quality may differentiate, but this is just as a baseline comparison. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter how good this microphone is, as I were to walk away, the uh, the volume of my voice would obviously dip down, same with the quality. And um, maybe I wanna use a lens that has a longer focal range. Uh, that would mean that I would have to stand from a, lot, a lot further away from the camera. And obviously it's just not going to pick up my voice. So that's when uh, something like this would come in uh, very much handy because you're getting that consistency in the volume as well as quality. So anyway, uh, now I'm going to uh, plug this in and just see what we get. Okay, so I've got it all attached. As you can hear, transmitter. I've got the, uh, the receiver just over here. And yeah, what you're hearing now is directly from the microphone. So it's a little example of what it sounds like when two people are talking. Uh, my friend and I actually did a little video the other day just to show you a quick example. So I'm gonna play this now. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Awesome. So this is a quick example to show the capability of the wireless microphone using both of the uh, wireless transmitters. Uh, I'm gonna walk and just uh, kind of keep talking. Just if uh, kind of just now and then you say testing one, two, three. If every, you stay about there. Every now and then I'll just say something. Yeah, humorous. so uh, just walking back. Of some kind. Testing one, two, Like it's two, really three. stupidly cold out here. Yep, quite far and, away. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm still in view or not, but. And yep, uh, still like walking. I can't hear what you're saying anymore, so. <laughs> All right. Now I can't so even see So I'm pretty much him. at the end of the field now. Yeah, so, uh, and here I am, back. At the same level as me. Now, if I'm gonna uh, interject on that, I think you made some really good points there, Mike. Um, <laughs> I feel like uh, I heard every word completely clearly <laughs> from right across the field, and that uh, uh, I'll be finding out what you said in, in just a few yeah, moments yeah, when exactly. I watch the video. Well, we did do a little test the, um, the other day, uh, in, you know, indoors, and I went um, upstairs and the, the audio was very clear. Uh, but yeah, I just want to do like a little bit of a further test with the range. Um, it's, supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be capable of going a lot further than that. Um, but then again, if you're, com if you're really, really small, I don't think that it's not, not many people will be doing that. But just the fact that you can stand a decent away from, uh, just a decent distance away from the camera and uh, you know, still be heard clearly, 
yeah, I think it's, uh, it should be good for a variety of situations, especially uh, like interviews and stuff like that. I can definitely think of a yeah. few. Awesome. All right, and that's, that's pretty much it for the test. So thank is, you. Is that a wrap? Can we go in now? Yes. It's cold. Yeah, it's it so is. cold. <laughs> So now you've seen the clip, I'm sure you'll agree when I say that the overall audio quality is very, very good. Uh, I wouldn't say it's still a high professional standard, but it's definitely a high quality nevertheless. Really suitable for a lot of projects, you know, some interviews, uh, anything really that people don't want to break the bank, but want a really good level of quality. Um, as you saw, it didn't matter how far away I was going from the camera, the audio volumes of my voice compared to my friends remained very consistent and same with the quality also. And yeah, that really is uh, going to be very useful for a lot of people, depending on you know what they're aiming to achieve. Um, and yeah, so like basically all I can say is, uh, although that's my opinion, what you're hearing now is basically what you get. So if you have a higher standard of quality and you feel that it's not quite matching your needs, then you know to avoid this and unfortunately you're going to have to spend more money and go for that extra quality. But if you're liking what you're hearing, then you know uh, that there is a dual pack and a singular pack depending on what you need. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all I can say really. Um, so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video.